In October of 1988, Dr. Paisley protested the visit of Pope John Paul II to the European Parliament. As an elected member of Parliament, Dr. Paisley was wrongly refused a voice in a discussion over whether the Pope should come. He felt that since the visit was not put to a vote, he needed to make his views known. His protest appeared on the front page of newspapers around the world and on radio news reports throughout the United Kingdom. Here are some excerpts from the BBC, followed by a widely heard radio debate between Dr. Paisley and John Bach, the Church of Ireland chaplain to the University of Ulster. Good evening. The DUP leader Ian Paisley was ordered out of the European Parliament in Strasbourg this morning after interrupting an address by the Pope. Dr. Paisley was excluded from today's sitting of the Parliament after making a protest during which he called the Pope the Antichrist. This was the Pope's first visit to the European Parliament in response to a long-standing invitation. Ian Paisley, however, had made it clear he would not be extending a welcome to the visitor. Yesterday, the Parliament's President, Lord Plum, said every precaution would be taken to ensure the Pope wouldn't be interrupted. But that wasn't Dr. Paisley's intention. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, permit me to say how much I... and I ask you to stop this disturbance. For the second time, Mr. Paisley, for the second time, Mr. Paisley, I call you to order and I ask you to respect the dignity of this House. Mr. Paisley, I now exclude you from this House and the remainder of the city. The DUP leader was escorted from the Parliament. He said other MEPs hit him about the head and body. Outside, he rejected criticisms of his protest. It's on the record. This house is already in disrepute. Don't you buy or come to don't, this morning. Surely brought don't, further disrepute. Don't, uh, don't talk to me about the repute of this house. The Pope said he rejected all forms of religious fundamentalism and totalitarianism. According to Lord Plum, the Pope wasn't upset by Ian Paisley's protest. Later, the European Parliament President said he regretted it if MEPs had taken action into their own hands, but questioned the extent of any punching involved. He said no further action would be taken against Dr. Paisley. DUP leader Ian Paisley was jostled, punched and then dragged out of the European Parliament today after interrupting a speech by the Pope. The disturbance came within seconds of the Pope starting to speak. Other Euro MPs responded angrily when Dr. Paisley heckled the Pope, saying he was the Antichrist. The President, Lord Henry Plum, twice called on Dr. Paisley to end his protest, but he continued to shout and was ordered out of the chamber. Permit me to say how much I... I call you to order and I ask you to stop this disturbance. For the second time, Mr. Paisley. For the second time, Mr. Paisley, I call you to order and I ask you to respect the dignity of this House. Mr. Paisley, I now exclude you from this house and for the remainder of the city. Dr. Paisley was jostled as he left the chamber, but he remained unrepentant. You saw the record. This house is already in disrepute. Don't, don't you buy or come to don't, this morning. Surely brought don't, further disrepute. Don't, uh, don't talk to me about the repute of this house. 
I have no time for the European common market. I'm a lot of common market here. What about I was those elect- are bigger? I was a elect- yesterday. Yes, well, that's what they said about Martin Luther. Mr. Paisley tried to disrupt a speech by the Pope this morning to the European Parliament in Strasbourg. No sooner had the Pope started speaking when Mr. Paisley was on his feet, waving a placard and shouting at the top of his voice. Other politicians turned on him, Mr. Paisley was pushed out of the chamber, and eventually the Pope was able to resume his speech, which was about Christian unity. Elaborate arrangements had been made for the keynote speech of the Pope's four-day French tour. The display of bronze nudes had been removed from the lobby for fear of offending the papal entourage. The Parliament's only democratic unionist MEP had given advance warning of his interruption, and the socialist vice president appeared tense as she twice called for silence. Je vous remercie. In the event, the Pope could Ladies barely begin his greeting. First of all, permit me to say how much I... The Pope remained calm, clearly anticipating the heckler in the back row. Mr. Paisley quoted a 16th century anti-papist slogan as furious Euro MPs threw papers at him in disgust, snatching the poster. Parliamentary President Lord Plum had no choice. Paisley, I call you to order, and I ask you to stop this disturbance. There was another poster in his pocket for each one snatched away. The Pope, waiting with a text which spoke of Europe as the beacon of civilization, looked on with faint amusement. Mr. Paisley, I now exclude you from this house. Mr. Paisley claims he was punched and that he later received a personal apology from the head of security for failing to protect him. The poster stated simply, John Paul II, Antichrist, a reference to the view supported by Archbishop Cranmer in Reformation times that by claiming to be God's earthly representative, popes have usurped the position of Christ. Cranmer's successor has felt the wrath of the Paisleyites for his friendship with Rome. For him, the criticism is centuries out of date. It was an attempt by Mr. Paisley to confront the Pope at the Vatican, which first won him headlines. He came closer six years ago with the Pope's Scottish visit. But it was today's special session of the Euro Parliament which gave him the chance he'd been waiting for. The Pope's bodyguards made sure that the rest of the visit was uninterrupted. Andrew Burroughs reporting. The Reverend Ian Paisley has been thrown out of the European Parliament in Strasbourg after shouting down the Pope who'd been invited to speak there. Mr. Paisley later claimed he'd been manhandled out of the chamber. The Pope had just started his speech to the European Parliament when the Reverend Ian Paisley began shouting, I renounce you as the Antichrist. Infuriating his fellow Euro MPs, appeals for him to be silent fell on deaf ears. Paisley, I call you to order and I ask you to stop this disturbance. For the second time, Mr. Paisley... Mr. Paisley said he was then beaten, punched and dragged from the chamber. Outside, he remained unrepentant despite being accused of being a bigot. But let me say this, if the honor of Christ is at stake, I would put my whole political career on the line for the honor of Jesus Christ in his prayer. I happen to be a Protestant by conviction, and I'm not going to sell my Protestant heritage. How does behavior like that help him to achieve anything? for the people that he comes here to represent. So the whole thing was staged, of course. Let's not forget that. It was done for the sort of publicity that Mr. Paisley got. As for the Pope, he said he was used to these situations. The only thing to do was to remain calm.